So good morning to all. Um, so let us uh, start with again uh, NMS word. So before starting this uh, today's session, so let us uh, quickly uh, uh, review or go through so what we have discussed in the uh, last uh, uh, session. Okay. Uh, so what are the uh, uh, things we have discussed in the last uh, session, especially with respect to MS Word? Can anyone summarize? The things which we have discussed in the last session. Hari, can you please summarize? Are you there, Hari? Guru Prakash, can you please summarize one of the things we have discussed in the last session? Pratiba. People are there in the online session. Am I audible? Yes, I'm audible now. Yes. So please come out. Hey, Malata. Amravati. Ma'am. Yes. Last session, let me discuss for now. Um, Ma'am, we have seen how to protect a file. And uh, a file, okay. And uh, changing fonts, changing fonts, then uh, how to create a file, okay. Um, uh. Then and that's all you remember, man. So that's all you remember, right. Okay, so how to open a Word document? Ma'am, are you asking me? Yes, Samravati. Uh, how to open a document? Um, you have to search MS Word mm. and uh, it will open. Okay. Right, anyway, we'll quickly uh, go through what we have discussed uh, uh, in the last class. Okay. Is my PPT visible? Okay. Yes, ma'am, it's visible. Okay. So we have seen introduction to MS Word, and also we have seen different features which are available in the MS Word. Okay. So, so these are the different features. And again, uh, so whatever file you're saving in the MS Word, so that will be saved with the file name uh, extension with the uh, dot uh, .doc or dot .docx dot .docs. So the file name extension will be either dot .doc or dot .docs. Okay. And uh, as far as this uh, particular uh, um, uh, MS Office uh, suit is concerned, so it is available. Uh, for both Windows as well as for Unix operating system, right? So this uh, MS Word is particularly a uh, word processing software. So where you can draft uh, any document or reports or letters or whatever. Uh, so you want to document, you can document it, you can uh, create it, you can save it, and also you can share it. Okay. So and also we can we have the different features in MS Word, like uh, we can uh, insert images, we can insert videos. And we can change the font styles, font type, colors, and also we can include the page numbers we document. And also we have the feature of uh, 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 including the word art or, and also we have the feature of uh, um, including the smart arts also. And we can insert graphs, we can insert tables, and also we can include uh, any animations or designs. And uh, the page borders can be included, and page color can be changed. So we have different options in the MS Word. So this is how you have to open a MS Word document. So in the uh, menu bar, like in the search bar, you have to type MS Word and you have to select your application. Okay. 
and also we have discussed about now let me uh, like uh, uh, explain with the screen of the ms word itself so this is a document which i have already uh, opened okay so for demonstration so this is how your uh, ms word document looks like so you have the file option you have the home you have the insert tab draw design layout references mailings review view okay and you have the help option also table design layout etc so if you want to create a new file so you have to go to file and in the file option you have several information so you can either create a new file or open an existing document and you have different different options like save save as okay so if you go for save as option so you can locate your file or you can save your file in a particular folder in your designated folder in your desired folder and also you can go to print option share export like this so you have uh, several options uh, uh, here in the file so if you go to blank document so you can create a blank document like this and uh, before uh, starting to type any uh, letters or words in a word document so you have to set your uh, margins for your word document okay so that is very very important so now you can go to your layout tab okay so you have to fix the size of your margins okay because especially if you uh, if you are creating some project reports right project reports normally you will bind the project reports so when you bind the project reports the left margin uh, the whatever uh, words you are typing okay in the left side so there is a possibility that your document or your words will uh, get uh, get, uh, get hidden into the left side margin yeah so ninga bind pandra pa enna pananum left side margin eppadi irukanum it should be sufficiently large when compared to the right side margin okay bind pandra pa so in order to avoid the bind pandra pa enna irukum na text vandu ulle poirum okay so that we have to avoid that so in order to avoid that we have to set the margins appropriate appropriately so for that usually uh, when you prefer to bind a document so you have to set your left margin in somewhat on a higher end okay now if you go to layout and if you go to margins so you can uh, see uh, the last custom setting last custom setting is nothing but the the last set setting we have done for the margin so the last setting we have done is top is 5.9 bottom is 2.54 left 2.54 and right is 2.54 so default setting will be normally this okay this normal setting is all the sides you have the margin of 2.54 cm so what is 2.54 cm normally what is this in terms of inches இன்ச்ல சொல்லணும்னா எப்படி சொல்றது வாட் இஸ் 1 இன்ச் 2.54 cm yeah 2.54 cm or 24 25.4 mm so the normal setting will be like this you have top bottom ref right so everything will be 2.54 cm now let me open this document so i'm going to lay out so now you can custom your margins also so now for this document if you see the top margin is 2.5 cm bottom is 4 cm left is 2.8 and right is 2.8 cm okay so you can change the margin also so especially when you prepare the project reports your left side margin should be somewhat higher okay now i am increasing the left side margin for example okay so automatically the left margin will be moved towards right like this okay still you can increase the margin again top you can increase bottom you can increase okay so you can change the margins like this and right side you can decrease if you want and here also you can see the orientation of the document okay either it can be portrait document or it can be landscape document so portrait document na the whatever document we i have now is a portrait document suppose if i want to change it to the landscape document also i can change it so landscape pathinga na your width will be larger than the height whereas so i can go back again so again it will go back to the portrait document in the portrait document uh, the width will be less when compared to the height of the document okay that is the difference so the margin itself you can set your margins for the document 
and especially suppose if you want to print anything in a letter head okay normally for all the institutions we have even for our college we have a letter head for all the industries they will have a letter head suppose if you want to print any document in the letter head which margin should be higher Okay, now we are printing some some uh, documents in the college letterhead. Yeah, you know, inter internship letter, bona fide certificate, wangringe, all me wangringe. So you have the college letterhead. Suppose if you want to print something in a college letterhead, what we have to do? What should be the margin, especially the top margin? If we are going to top margin, now let me uh, share. Yes. Are you able to see this document? So, what is this called actually? What is this? Header, ma'am. Yeah, huh? yeah, it's of course header. This is the soft copy of our college letterhead. Okay, now I want to print something in this paper. So, college letterhead, normal hard copies are in department level. Yeah, so you will take that paper. And you will print whatever you want, either a bona fide certificate or whatever. Okay. Now, so if I want to print something in this particular document, already some header is there. Okay. What is the size of this header? So you can see here, right? 3.96 centimeter or something like this. So the height is 3.96 centimeter and the width is 15.92 centimeter. Now I have to print something here. Yeah, I have to print something here. In the document, I will print it. I will type it in the word document. I will type it in. So, in the letterhead, I will print it. Then, the margins are set. How to set the margin? So, I will print a hard copy of this letterhead. So, how to set the margin for this? Then, I will have to go to margins. Custom margins. So, top layer especially, you have to fix at a higher end. Normal college letterhead editing down. If you take, if you measure that uh, uh, this particular height. Okay, if I measure this particular height, it will be about 5.8 centimeter from the top of this. Okay, so 5.8 centimeter. document I have to set my margins like this. So top I have to set 5.9. So you can select 5.9 or 5.8, whatever. Select for it, and the cursor automatically in the point. So usually, any mistakes, instead of setting margin like this, now I'm going back again. So just they'll just press enter like this. Okay, press enter like this. At the couple of document on the type on type on archivanga. So I'm typing a letter like this, bona fide certificate. But this is wrong. My own content type on right. I'm typing a content like this. So this is not the way you have to fix the margin, especially when you want to print something in a letterhead. It is panna kuda. So, what do you do? Document is written. First day, margin is set. You have to set the margins. So, you have to go to the layout, margins, custom margins. So, you please fix. This is 5.9 or 5.8 centimeter. Okay. Automatically, you have to fill the document. So, in the document, you have to print the cues. So, what do you do? So, what do you do? You have to print the document. You have to print the document. In the document, you have to print the document. Default is what you do. And the male college letter head and the header of the player are the one thing you can do. Correct the place or your document. So this is the way you have to set the margins, especially when you want to print something in a college letter head or a company letter head or any industry letter head. Is it clear? Therefore, you have to set the margins clearly. So based on the height of the footer, which is available in the letter head. So in the letter head, you can see the height 3.96 centimeter. 
so 3.96 cm under the in the image of the height but still you have the margins illaya yeah, in the margin irukku so adhey seythu nam include pananum so hard copy irundadna you can measure okay what uh, what is the height in the height evlo under the measure pannite then you have to set your margin appropriately okay is it clear so don't simply enter enter use pannadinga you please set the margins so please use the margin option in order to set the margins for your uh, uh, document okay is it clear any doubt in this no ma'am so normal size is margin is this so ella side um pathinga na 2.54 2.4 1 1 inch irukum okay or you can customize also so you can customize the margins based on this option custom margins so you can fix the margin size on all four sides top bottom right and the left but also you can change the orientation of the document if you want so default by default will be a portrait will be available suppose if you want to change the document orientation as landscape you can do it especially when we can go for this landscape orientation when you would like to go for landscape orientation for any certificate or certificates even suppose if your size of the table is so large okay so if for suppose if your table has so many columns uh suppose some 20 or 15 columns like that so in order to accommodate the particular table so we can go for this landscape document because if you have a simple table with some four to five rows you can easily accommodate in a portrait format suppose if you have more number of columns in a table then you can go for this landscape orientation and also you can uh, fix your paper size so what is the default paper size we are using what is the default paper size we are using sometimes a4. let me or a4 a4 okay so you are using a4 size paper suppose if you want to print out any legal document especially so when any any agreement okay so uh, the house rental agreement la paathirukinga illaya or any type of agreement so what is the size of that actually we call that size as a legal size okay so if you want to print a document in a legal size paper so you have to set this uh, legal setting then other settings a3 is also there okay several sizes are there so you can select your size according to your requirement and standard size is a4 okay so we can just uh, select this a4 option and we can proceed okay so again again we can fix the size of the paper uh, to the whole document or this point forward so for suppose if you have some five pages in a word document for the uh, first page you can have a4 for the second third fourth and fifth fifth suppose if, if you like to have some a different size of the paper you can set that also here okay either you can apply to the whole document or this point forward okay so you can use this option in order to set the different sizes of the paper in a same document okay and here also you have the layout and header and footer also you can fix okay that is the uh, from edge okay what should be the position of your header similarly from the edge what should be the position of the footer so that can be fixed by uh, changing this uh, dimension so 1.25 is the default you can modify it and you can fix the position of the header as well as the footer also okay and um, mm, so this is all about margins okay so the first step is suppose if you are preparing a new document you can fix the size of the margin and also you can fix the uh, uh, size of the paper you can fix the orientation of the document it can be either portrait or la uh, landscape document so using this option okay and also you have this one orientation portrait landscape then size is also here and columns what is the use of this particular option columns what is the use of this particular option columns you can divide the page into two you can divide the page into two okay or for any differentiation we can use this differentiation uh, this is how this is different from this we can show that okay so i have explained about the margins now explain i'll just explain about adding columns in a microsoft document so why we have to add the columns in the microsoft uh, document okay 
uh, sometimes we need to provide the information in two columns instead of one column and uh, the advantage of uh, 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 adding columns or providing columns uh, for a text is so it will uh, improve the uh, readability okay now if you can see in the newspapers right newspaper articles and newsletters also sometimes in some of the newsletters we prefer to have the uh, text in two columns and also the brochures okay the flyers okay we prefer to have the document uh, in the form of columns okay we prefer to have the text in the document uh, in columns okay so for that we have we can use this uh, column option and uh, so we have the provision in the word uh, for adjusting columns also so we have the column breaks so this especially this particular feature it will help your document or it will help uh, do improve the readability of a particular document okay and also it will uh, uh, improve uh, the organization of your uh, document and also we can utilize all the space which is available on the page okay so or page la eduthitona and adulla ella space nam accommodate panna mudiyum so effectively utilize panna mudiyum and the space so idukkaga nam and the column option use padalam so you have this option columns now let me go so i'm selecting this particular text columns so i can select like this so that your text now gets accommodated in two columns instead of a single column so again undo okay i'm selecting this sometimes in some of the journals they will ask us to prepare the paper in two columns okay especially in journal publications in some of the journals they will ask us to prepare the articles in two columns so in that case so for what you have to do is initially you prepare your uh, word document in a single column then finally you select all the text and go for this particular option in order to convert this into a two column document so apdi you panala two columns so automatically our document vand will get like this okay again you can select single column it will go back to its original form okay and you have uh, several options here also you can change your uh, width etc a number of columns also you can set here and you can uh, um, uh, change the width you can customize the width of the column and also you can apply this either for selected sections or the whole document so either you can apply this uh, uh, feature either for the selected text or for the whole document so this can be done using this particular option okay so we have got this feature also especially to improve the readability of the document and whenever required okay suppose uh, uh, if you are preparing uh, uh, any uh, posters even in posters we can uh, uh, make use of this so this option will be very much useful uh, if you would like to present the document into columns okay in more one or i mean uh, two or more columns you can use this particular document then the next feature what we have is uh design okay so what is the option we have in design and i like to stress here uh, uh, especially the three options which are available uh, especially the watermark page color and page border so what are the uses of these options what is watermark especially any idea what is watermark yes so especially this design option so you can uh, have different uh, options like uh, so you can produce some designs to the documents okay you can offset the headings and documents you can prepare the documents with center titles page borders watermarks page color etc okay page border eppadi add pananum 
again you can improve your document by adding your uh, page borders every page border add kar dete so now i want to include page border for this particular document okay so page borders so i have different options box none shadow custom etc suppose if i select box option okay the color the automatic color is black and the width of the uh, border is also you can uh, specify and you can include the arts also whatever border you would like to have you can have it so you have different uh, styles so you can choose any one and you can apply so there are options like especially the arts you have different options you can select any one so na simple select pandra appadina without any art so you can create the borders like this okay page borders like this and you have uh, different options idu neenga select pannala edavadhu select panni you can change your page borders like this okay and similarly you have another option which is called as page color so you can change the page color also especially so you can create your flyers or posters also using the word document so for that you can make use of page color option if you want to create any posters or advertisements or uh, uh, flyers or any invitations okay so you can create it and you can modify the page color also in order to uh, present your document in the more pleasing way okay so you can in include uh, the page and more colors are there more fill effects are there so we can uh, one color or two colors okay so the color one also you can choose color two so you can go for different options and you can create your uh, uh, page color for your uh, uh, document okay so you can see you can explore the options here and shading styles also you can vary like this okay colors also you can change and you have the different textures also okay so you can uh, create texture like this the patterns are also available so you can create different patterns okay and you can select your picture also here and you can include that okay you can select your picture from your file or you can browse it from the internet and you can include it okay so you have different options especially for the page color you can customize it so you can use texture option or you can use pattern option and gradient option is also there and uh, shading styles also different So you can select your own, and you can create your page colors as per your requirement. Okay. So this is about the uh, page uh, color. And what is this watermark? Any idea? What is this watermark? What is the advantage of using this watermark? Words will be uh, light. it is not legible ah huh? yes please repeat it again it will be it's like it will be like uh, it is not eligible so eligible to our eyes but it is there no it will be legible actually it will be legible to our eyes now let me explain for the uh, initially what is watermark okay so it is a light and faded image of text or picture or logo that appears behind the main content of the document so in the document you will be having the main content and this watermark is nothing but you will have a faded image this image it can be either a text or it can be a picture or it can be a logo suppose uh, for our college we have a logo suppose if you are preparing a document and if you would like to have our college logo in each and every page of the document you can do it 
uh, without affecting the main content okay main content will be visible but your logo will be will also be there as a background image okay so that is called as a watermark so it will be light in color it will be a faded image but you can add either text or you can add the pictures or you can add logos whatever you want behind the main content of the document so that is called as watermark okay so it is a lighter shade in the text so the reader can uh, easily read the document there won't be any problem in uh, reading the document because of the inclusion of this watermark watermark art padradnala ungade idu vande affect aagadhu can easily read the main content of the document okay and this watermark code purpose enna paathona so sometimes uh, the, uh, the document vande confidential document a irukano suppose if you want to uh, express that in a particular document you can do it okay text enna pannalana type pannalam confidential appadi type pannalam type pannina you can add this as a watermark i'll show you some examples also and do not copy and this is a draft suppose if it is a draft document so you can again uh, uh, express that by uh, having a watermark as a draft okay urgent then sample okay whatever text you can type you would like to type you can type it as a watermark okay therefore this ms word has a provision to include the watermark in a document okay so usually now the content vand highlight panirke this watermark is used to make the document more difficult for the original picture or image to be copied by others or used without permission okay so that is the use of the watermark so no one can copy your uh, uh, document or image whatever uh, you have included in the document so it is very difficult for them if you, especially if you provide the watermark in a particular document so let me go to that option watermark so it is available in the design option in the design option you can see watermark page color page borders so you have the watermark okay so you have different uh, uh, types of watermarks available suppose if i select this confidential the document la ella page la enna varum in the watermark varum is it clear so whatever pages you have uh, so you can have this but there won't be any problem in typing the text in a document so adu ninga enna venal panikalam text type panikalam okay you can type text you can insert table or you can do whatever you want okay but in each and every page you will have a watermark like this so in the document namakku enna solluvona it is a confidential document appo solla so you can also customize your uh, uh, watermarks the content ipo inga enna irukku confidential irukku so you can remove this okay you can just type sample and you can also, also select the font font size um enna maathikalam suppose enakku vande a times new roman venumna i can go for times new roman and can select it okay or size also you can fix it some 36 or 40 and color also i can fix it okay diagonal or horizontal okay is it possible tell me so what is the watermark i have typed here sample is it possible in the document so color i can change it sample apply i can increase the size horizontal so i can create the watermarks like this okay so even you can insert picture as a watermark and you can have the more watermarks from the office.com இதில் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா நிறைய டிஃபால்ட் ஆப்ஷன்ஸ் இருக்கு டூ நாட் காப்பி ஓகே டூ நாட் காப்பி ஆப்ஷன் இஸ் தேர் அண்ட் வி கேன் ஹாவ் அனதர் கான்ஃபிடென்ஷியல் அர்ஜென்ட் 
So these are the default watermarks which are available. Apart from that, we can uh, customize your watermarks and you can remove the watermark also. So if you select that option, the watermark will be removed. Okay. See, picture watermark you can use. Okay, select picture. Suppose from your file, I'm using a picture. Mm. So what I have chosen here is the college logo. So this will be available in each and every page of the document. Okay, so you can customize your watermark also. It can be a text or it can be an image or it can be a picture, whatever. So you can use the watermark option like this. Okay, so in the watermark, it's very difficult to copy. Okay, from your document. And you should copy panna in the Madri Namura logo or watermark insert panna. So they will definitely hesitate to copy your document or copy your text from your document. Okay, so this is the purpose of uh, adding the watermarks to your document. So in the design, basically, you can go for these options. Either you can go for watermarks, you can include the page uh, uh, color, and also you can include the page borders to your document. So the LMA is to improve your uh, presentation. Okay, The presentation of a document will be improved when you go for this particular design option. Okay, Again, the font size. So you have different font sizes in paragraph spacing also you can fix it right so that you can do it here and also you can customize your paragraph spacings like this so you can explore uh, so many options under this design so as i said in watermark you have different uh, types of watermark some confidential do not copy then draft as early as possible then uh, as soon as possible urgent sample etc so these are the different uh, options available in the watermark. Okay, so is it clear? Use of the watermark feature. Any doubts in this? Any doubts? No, ma'am, no, ma'am. Now we'll go to some other uh, uh, features of this Microsoft Word. See, especially we have some advanced features, okay, in MS Word. So the, that we'll see in the next sessions. And before that, okay, I'll just uh, uh, want you to know more about the password protection already passed on, Leah. You have already seen the password protection. Have we seen that? Eppity protect parano documenta. Either like option. Eppity protect parano documenta. Can anyone tell me how to protect a document? So adding password in a Microsoft Word, Word document. Okay, so uh, so this is particularly done, done especially uh, in order to avoid, okay, sometimes uh, the other users, they may accidentally add some uh, text or delete some text or they may change something in your document, okay, they may, they may modify your data or information. So in order to avoid all those things, suppose if it is an open document, right, so in order to avoid all those things, the document needs to be protected. So we can easily lock our document file. Okay, and we can easily protect it with the help of a password. Okay, so no one can tamper our data. Okay, whatever data uh, that is available in the document, no one can tamper it. And uh, only those with a valid pa password can access your document. The others cannot access your document. So this is the way you have to protect your document. So in order to uh, avoid the tampering of the data in a particular document. So there is an option called, so file kula coding in a, you have that option. So now let me explain. So in, in the file, you have the option info. So you have the option protect document. Okay, encrypt with password. Okay, so it will ask for a password. So now I'm giving a password. Okay. 
will ask us to re-enter the password. Okay. Right. So please save it. And close it. Now I'm just opening the document again. Okay. So that document is available in I think desktop. Now it is asking for a password to open. So now it is a password protected file. I'm just giving the password. Okay, now it is opening. Okay, so this is the option you have to give for protecting a document. So file info, you have to give a protect document, encrypt the password. back and save close so you have to save your pass save your file after you protect it with a password if other way open other and a password and remove on it so again if you want to set your password you can again go to info protect document and encrypt with password so you can set your password like this so after setting your password so you have to again save it friend of a cake for password back Again, save it and close. Save your document and close. Okay, so automatically your document will be protected by your password. Okay, so either Mukeman or suppose if we have some important information or data in a particular document, so we can easily protect it with the password. Okay. But the thing is that whatever problem is sometimes uh, uh, we uh, uh, there is a possibility that uh, uh, we might uh, uh, for, we might have forgotten the password. So other number one careful So you have to protect it with the password. So you have to remember the password. So password uh, remember panikano. And also suppose if you want to share the password with others, you can share it. So whoever uh, has your password, they, they'll be able to open it up. So this is how you have to protect your document. And you have another option. Uh, so just, just I'd like to add here, especially when you work with tables. Okay, in the last session, we have also discussed about uh, insert option. So where you have different options like inserting tables, inserting page breaks, okay, then inserting new pages and inserting tables, instead inserting uh, pictures, etc. So I'd like to just add few more points on that particular aspect, especially in the insert content. Do you have the uh, systems or laptop with you at present? How many of you have the laptops or systems with you at present? Yeah, it's in a Kumar is having. What about others? But anyway, see, you should have some good practice, especially when you want to prepare a nice document using MS Word. Okay, so without having practice, you cannot uh, prepare a quality uh, document using MS Word. But anyway, let me uh, um, tell you another option, especially when you work with tables. Um, yes. So in the last session, actually, we have discussed about uh, how to use the insert option in the MS Word, right? So let me uh, create a new document. So we have discussed about this insert option in the last page. So we can insert cover page. Now let me refresh again. So we can insert cover page like this. Okay. So whenever you want to prepare a document and if you want to provide a cover page for the document, so you can use the different options available, different templates available in the MS Word. Okay. So either one the cover page insert panel on. Or you can insert blank page. 
இன்சர்ட் பண்ணீங்கன்னா அதர் பிளாங்க் பேஜ் கிரியேட் ஆகிடும் ஆல்ரெடி ஒரு பேஜ் தான் இருந்தது இட் கேன் கிரியேட் பிளாங்க் பேஜ் யூ கேன் இன்சர்ட் பேஜ் பிரேக் ஸோ நான் இங்கே வச்சு பேஜ் பிரேக் கொடுத்தேன்னா பேஜ் பிரேக் கிரியேட் ஆகிடும் பேஜ் பிரேக் எதுக்கு கிரியேட் பண்ணணும் சொல்லியிருக்கேன் நான் ஒய் வி ஹாவ் டு கிரியேட் த பேஜ் பிரேக்ஸ் why we have to create the page breaks so we lost someone yeah gautam tell me why we have to insert page break in a document விக்னேஷ் Vivetika, please tell me why we have to insert page break in a document. Rohit. Priyadarshini. Harshavardini, please you can tell me. யாருமே ரெஸ்பாண்ட் பண்ண மாட்டேங்கிறீங்க ஸ்ரீலேகா மேம் எஸ் பேஜ் பிரேக் எதுக்கு இன்சர்ட் பண்ணணும் ஒரு டாக்குமெண்ட்ல நவ் யூ பிளீஸ் லுக் அட் திஸ் டாக்குமெண்ட் சோ யூ ஹேவ் அபவுட் செவன்டீன் பேஜஸ் இன் திஸ் பர்டிகுலர் டாக்குமெண்ட் ரைட் சோ யூ ஹேவ் சம் செவன்டீன் பேஜஸ் நவ் யூ பிளீஸ் லுக் அட் திஸ் பர்டிகுலர் பேஜ் டேபிள் ஒன் So I have given just uh, some data in this table one, right? So it is about the chemical composition of fly ash. The table is like this, actually. The table starts here. Page number 5 will start. Page number 6 will start. The table is like this. There are two pages. What I can do is, I can move this table to the next page. Page number 6 will start. 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 So how do I do this? again enter kurthu na pannalam i can just uh, i can just press enter i can move it do pannala but what i am going to do is so ipdi da irundha the first layer of the table was like this in the madri irundhuch so now what i am going to do is i in the cursor irukku laya inda edathula vechi na enna panna porena insert பேஜ் பிரேக் அப்படின்னு கொடுத்தேன்னா ஆட்டோமேட்டிக்காக அந்த டேபிள் வந்து மூவ் ஆயிடும் ஓகே ஸோ ஹியர் யூ கேன் சி பேஜ் பிரேக் இஸ் கிரியேட்டட் அப்படின்னா என்ன அர்த்தம் இந்த இடத்துல நம்ம பேஜை பிரேக் பண்ணிட்டோம்னு அர்த்தம் ஸோ தட் த டேபிள் ஸ்டார்ட்ஸ் இன் த ஃப்ரெஷ் பேஜ் ஓகே பேஜ் பிரேக் கொடுக்கலைன்னா என்ன ஆகும் நான் ஜஸ்ட் இப்போ என்டர் ப்ரெஸ் பண்ணி நான் கொடுத்துட்ருக்கேன் என்ன ஆகும் இட்ஸ் டிஃப்ரென்ஸ் பிட்வீன் தேட் திஸ் ஒன் என்ட்ரு கொடுத்து பண்ணுறதுக்கும் பேஜ் பிரேக் கொடுத்து பண்ணுறதுக்கும் என்ன டிஃப்ரென்ஸ் யா பிளீஸ் டெல் மீ கேன் எனி ஒன் எக்ஸ்பிளைன் திஸ் வித் டிஃப்ரென்ஸ் பிட்வீன் தீஸ் டூ ஆப்ஷன்ஸ் ஸோ இதர் வி கேன் மூவ் த டேபிள் பை கிவிங் என்டர் ஜஸ்ட் என்டர் அண்ட் வி கேன் மூவ் த டேபிள் டு த நெக்ஸ்ட் பேஜ் ஆர் வி கேன் கிவ் ஜஸ்ட் பேஜ் பிரேக் அண்ட் வி கேன் மூவ் த டேபிள் டு த நெக்ஸ்ட் பேஜ் what is the difference between these two options edu pannano page break da ma pannano yeah yeah that by yeah yeah pannano yeah enter kuduthu panna enna problem varum adha enter 
என்ட்ட கொடுத்து பண்ணலாம் இல்லையா அதை மூவ் பண்ணலாம் என்னால மூவ் பண்ண முடியும் இல்லையா தென் வை ஹாவ் டு கோ ஃபார் பேஜ் பிரேக் ஆப்ஷன் எஸ்பெஷலி என்ன ப்ராப்ளம் வரும்னா சோ நான் என்ட்டர் கொடுத்து பண்றேன்னு வெச்சுக்கலாமே சோ நான் இப்போ ஃபர்தரா டெக்ஸ்ட் ஆட் பண்ணிட்டே போறேன் ஏதோ சோ நான் ஆடிங் டெக்ஸ்ட் சம் சம்திங் லைக் திஸ் இதுல நான் டாக்குமெண்ட்ல ஆட் பண்ணிட்டே போறேன்னா கரஸ்பாண்டிங்கா உங்க டேபிள் மூவ் ஆயிட்டே இருக்கும் ஓகே சோ இங்க இந்த சம் டெக்ஸ்ட் எல்லாம் ஆட் பண்ணி நான் பண்றேன் ஓகே சோ நீங்க ஒரு டாக்குமெண்ட் प्रिபெயர் பண்ணிட்டு கம்ப்ளீட்டா அலைன் பண்ணிட்டு ஒரு டாக்குமெண்ட் வந்து பிரிண்டபிள் ஃபார்ம்ல வச்சிருக்கீங்க அப்படினா சோ பேக் சோ இப்டிதான் இருந்துச்சு என்னோட டாக்குமெண்ட் நான் என்ன பண்ணிடுறேன் இங்க இன்சர்ட் பேஜ் பிரேக் கொடுத்தேனா பெர்மனன்ட் ஆயிரும் அது ஓகே இந்த பேஜ் பிரேக் இஸ் गोइंग टू बी பெர்மனன்ட் ஓகே சோ இந்த டேபிள் இங்க இருக்க போதே இந்த பேஜ் பிரேக் இங்க இருக்கு நீங்க என்ன பண்ணாலும் சரி ஆக்சுவலா நோ யூ ஆட் எனிதிங் யூ லைக் டு ஹேவ் okay so you can any content i am adding here so once in the page layout ku la mudichadukapra see automatically adutha page ku poiruchu table edha adu move aayirka aagala so in the page break ku munadi neenga enna text venala add pannikalam you can add any any text you can uh, you you like to add சோ இந்த டேபிள் என்னதான் ஆகும் டேபிள் வந்து அடுத்த பேஜ்ல தான் ஸ்டார்ட் ஆகும் எப்பயுமே அது மாறாது ஓகே சோ யூ கேன் ஆட் எனி டெக்ஸ்ட் இந்த பேஜ் பிரேக் வந்து இட் will break the page டேபிள் வந்து நீங்க என்னதான் டெக்ஸ்ட் இன் பிட்வீன் ஆட் பண்ணினா கூட டேபிள் வந்து will always start in a fresh page ஓகே ஏனா அதோட நம்ம நம்மளுடைய மோட்டோ வந்து அதுதான் இந்த இந்த டேபிள வந்து break பண்ண கூடாது break பண்ணாம நான் வந்து ஃப்ரெஷா ஸ்டார்ட் பண்ணி வெச்சிருக்கேன் ஒரு பேஜ்ல சோ இது வந்து எப்பயுமே மாறாது இஃப் யூ இன்சர்ட் பேஜ் பிரேக் அப்படி இல்லாம நான் என்ன பண்றேன்னா ஐ அம் கோவிங் ஃபார் அனதர் ஆப்ஷன் என்டர் கொடுத்து பண்ணிட்டே வர்றேன் என்டர் கொடுத்து பண்ணேனா என்ன ஆகும் டேபிள் மூவ் ஆயிருச்சு பட் ஸ்டில் நான் திருப்பி நிறைய டெக்ஸ்ட் ஆட் பண்றேன் ஐம் ஜஸ்ட் காப்பிங் இட் ஐம் கோயிங் டு ஆட் சோ many டெக்ஸ்ட் Ctrl V again table move aite irukku parunga or fixed position la illa add panite poren text ipo enna vandu nikkudu table enna vaichu break aichu ipo break aagi enna inda pages la irukku this is in page 6 and this is in page 7 okay so text add aaga aaga unga table vandu break aite irukum based on the quantum of the text idu avoid pandradhukaga na enna pandrena or page break kuduthurrenga பேஜ் பிரேக்க நான் கொடுத்துட்டேன்னா இதை மட்டும் செட் பண்ணிட்டா போதும் டேபிள் வந்து ஃப்ரெஷ் பேஜ்ல ஸ்டார்ட் ஆயிடும் ஸோ என்ட்ரு கொடுத்து பண்ணோம்னா அந்த ப்ராப்ளம் வரும் ஃபர்தரா நீங்க ஏதாவது டெக்ஸ்ட் ஆட் பண்ணீங்கன்னா கரஸ்பாண்டிங்கா உங்களுக்கு டேபிள் பொசிஷன் மூவ் ஆகிட்டே இருக்கும் சப்சிக்வெண்ட் பேஜஸ் ஸோ இஃப் யூ பிக்ஸ் த பேஜ் பிரேக் எந்த இடத்துல பேஜ் பிரேக் ஃபிக்ஸ் பண்ணியிருக்கோமோ அந்த இடத்துல பேஜ் பிரேக் ஆயிரும் டேபிள் வில் ஸ்டார்ட் அஸ் அர் டேபிள் வில் ஸ்டார்ட் இன் த்ரெஷ் பேஜ் Is it clear? Then the table will break out the chance. Is it clear? Then the page break out the chance. Then you can set the page break out. Then you can set the page break out. Suppose if you have a page break out, you can insert the cursor in the table. You can insert the page break out. You can insert the table in the next page. You can insert the page break out. You can insert the page break out. இப்ப இந்த இடத்துல வேணும்னா நான் டெக்ஸ்ட் ஆட் பண்ணிக்கலாம் ஆட்டோமேட்டிக்கா பண்ணிட்டு உங்க டேபிள் வந்து அடுத்த பேஜுக்கு தான் போகும் இங்க வந்து உட்காராது So this is the advantage of using page break in a document. Okay. 
ஏதாவது ஒரு பர்டிகுலர் டேபிளோ ஏதோ ஒன்று நீங்கள் நெக்ஸ்ட் பேஜில் தான் ஸ்டார்ட் பண்ணணும்னு நினச்சிங்கன்னா ஸோ யூ கேன் இன்சர்ட் பேஜ் பிரேக் பிஃபோர் தட் ஓகே ஸோ இஸ் இட் கிளியர் மேத்தமெட்டிக்கல் ஃபார்முலா so we can use the mathematical formula in the cells of a table okay and especially this mathematical formula is used to find the uh, the simple operations like adding numbers or you can uh, get the average of numbers or you can find the uh, largest number or the smallest number in the table cells okay so you have the list of formula and you can choose from the formula which is available based upon your needs okay so i'll just tell you the option um so first you have to create a table now if you can look at this particular table you can see employee the name of the employee is given january salary is given february salary is given so what is the total so this is the last column so we need to have the sum of the values which are given here okay you have the january salary february salary i need to get the total of this okay so for that we have the option in the ms word so you have some uh, defined or specified formula in the word itself so we can use the formula to add the given numbers okay so that option is available in the layout tab okay now let me show you how to use this in i'm taking this uh, table itself let me take this document itself so i have a table so i have this table so now here i have some set of values for example here i say mixed proportions of concrete so cementitious material this much quantity fine aggregate this much quantity coarse aggregate this much quantity and sodium hydroxide this much quantity sodium silicate this much quantity super plasticizer this much quantity and distilled water i have some quantity so i want to add all these values okay so let me have some now i'll panla na i just keep my cursor here i go to layout tab and i have the formula tab here okay so some left there is an option and number format also you can choose that is for the answer whatever you are going to get it okay so you can add pathinga na and sum kadachirchu namak 2400.82 okay so just you have to place your cursor here and you have to go to this go to this formula tab so default ah indadhukku adu set aayiruchu is equal to sum left appadina number format you have to choose okay zero appadi number format choose panna enna varum just whole numbers la vandirukku decimal la venumnalum decimal format la neenga choose panni you can get your answers okay and there are certain other options formula la inga paathinga na paste function irukku actually average count defined false if maximum minimum okay so you have several options which are available here so you can select your own option the formula default is set ah irukke suppose if you are well versed with working with excel excel la ethana per formula work panna theriyum you know how to work with formulas in excel excel yaar teach pandra ipo certificate course la vidhi ne sir na ah formulas la solli thara formulas eppadi use pandradhu nu paathutingla excel la 
ஆ இல்ல மேம் மினிமல் தான் நான் ஆரம்பிப்பேன் ஓகே சோ எக்ஸல்ல வந்து யூ ஹேவ் செவரல் ஆப்ஷன்ஸ் லைக் நிறைய ஃபார்முலாஸ் யூஸ் பண்ண முடியும் அங்க யூ கேன் ஆட் இட் யூ கேன் சப்மிட் ஆர் எது வேணால பண்ணலாம் அதுல கவுண்ட் இஃப் பண்ணலாம் நிறைய ஆப்ஷன்ஸ் இருக்கு एवरेज பண்ணலாம் சோ நிறைய மேத்தமேட்டிக்கல் ஆபரேஷன்ஸ் ஆஃப் தேர் இன் எக்ஸல் सपोज இஃப் யூ ஆர் வெல் வர்ஸ்ட் வித் யுவர் எக்ஸல் எஸ்பெஷியலி டு வர்க் வித் ஃபார்முலாஸ் சோ யூ கேன் அப்ளை தோஸ் ஃபார்முலாஸ் ஹியர் இட்செல்ஃப் தி ஃபார்முலா வந்து நீங்க கஸ்டமைஸ் பண்ணிக்கலாம் யூ கேன் டைப் இட் ஹியர் அண்ட் யூ கேன் யூஸ் இட் சோ எக்ஸல்ல ஃபார்முலாஸ் யூஸ் பண்ண தெரியும் அப்படினா இதுல அந்த ஃபார்முலாஸ் நீங்க யூஸ் பண்ணி யூ கேன் டு வாட் எவர் ஆபரேஷன்ஸ் யூ லைக் டு டு ஓகே சோ தீஸ் ஆர் சம் ஆஃப் தி ஃபங்க்ஷன்ஸ் which are available ஓகே சோ நவ ஐ ஹேவ் a டெக்ஸ்ட் நான் அது காமிக்கிறேன் உங்களுக்கு एक्चुअली சோ எஸ்பெஷியலி இத வர்க் பண்றதுக்கு வந்து எக்ஸல் knowledge இருந்ததுனா எஸ்பெஷியலி ஃபார்முலா எப்படி வர்க் பண்றதுன்னு தெரிஞ்சதுனா this is also easier to work so in ms word also especially in tables so you can use formulas to calculate something okay some basic operations you can do and some default op- options are already available formula options are already available so you can make use of that or uh, you can uh, type your own formula especially if you are uh, good in excel so you can type your own formula and you can make make use of that formula to calculate something okay so just a minute okay so you can add formulas also and uh, in the table and you can calculate certain parameters using uh, word itself okay and uh, uh, these are the things which we have already discussed in certain page numbers and adding cover page etc and also the adding this part out also we, we have discussed right mm. and i have one other uh, thing another important thing like like uh, working with equations and symbols Yes, that that also we'll discuss now uh we know how to insert equations and symbols in ms word inserting equations so how to insert equation in ms word okay especially ipo nama textbooks la irukku laya so you have nama uh, civil engineering la portha varaikum we have uh, Uh, we are dealing with lot of formula formula we are we are dealing with lot of equations we are dealing with lot of symbols okay so especially when you want to prepare any document uh, involving uh, symbols mathematical equations and everything so this this option will be very much useful for you okay so in ms word you can insert symbols whatever we want and we have a collection or group of uh, symbols uh, default symbols available in the ms word and also we can insert equations also we can create equations also using ms word okay in any type of equation we we can create okay so i'll just tell you what are the options available for inserting symbols and also for adding symbols to a document and also for inserting equations in a ms word document okay so you have mathematical symbols or you have mathematical text so you can insert it you can create it in default ah ulladhu use panala alladhu ninga create panavum seyalam equations vandu create panavum seyalam okay so mathematical equations fractions integration even integration symbol you can make use of matrices and other mathematical symbols so whatever you like to create you can create it almost nammude applications la vara ella equations me create panna mudiyum ella symbols me namm use panna mudiyum now let me uh, just show you in ms word how to insert so na ipo insert tab la da irken so you have symbol so default la nariya symbols irukku 
என்னென்ன சிம்பிள்ஸ் இருக்கு ஆக்சுவலா வாட் இஸ் திஸ் என்னென்ன சிம்பிள்ஸ் இருக்கு யூ ஹாவ் தீட்டா பிளஸ் மைனஸ் ஓகே சம்மேஷன் ஆல்ஃபா ட்ராங்குலர் டெல்டா திஸ் டெல்டா நியூ சிம்பிள் So you have lot of default symbols which are available. Okay. Then you have more symbols also. So more symbols click on it. So you can see what are the various types of symbols we have in the library. So there are types of symbols. Okay? So we can use it whatever we want. So now we normally use the symbols. Use control. especially civil engineering applications la enna symbols use pandrom pi tau yeah tau use pandrom theta use pandrom slope na theta nu solrom then poisson ratio na enna solrom mu mu use pandrom alpha beta gamma summation then square root plus minus phi okay so we have lot of symbols so we can go through this so we have lot of symbols available so as per our needs we can make use of that nariya irukku ella symbol um namak apply aaguma nu solla mudiyadhu but still whatever symbol what is this adu enna symbol actually What is that symbol called? The symbol can appear. What is the symbol called? Yen na dadu actually. Pathri kingla in the symbol. Ah yes ma'am. Ah ma'am. Ah? Yara choni ngayon ang answer. Yes. Eta. Normally eta ang choni ngayon. Eta ala eta. Then row symbol ang ikon na nagre. Row symbol. So na you you have lot of symbols. Especially na may use pan dito eta summation dala use pan mo. So ano pala use pan ako. Then tau. So you can have different symbols. So this is one part. Mukhi maan to mandi equations na. Tama ko. Yepper equation insert pandra the. So idal la default arik. Suppose if I want to type an equation like this, a is equal to pi r square. Abi na default a irik yeng kita. So I just click pandra na kadi equation mandre the. Okay? But always, tama ko tayo na equation yeng. Ella me irik a the. So you have default nariya equations la irik trigonometric equations. So you have lot of equations, binomial theorem, expansion of a sum, quadratic formula. So it's all default a irik. Okay, so that you can use it as such. But suppose if I want to create my own equation in MS Word, okay, yena pander the. Abi na, so I have another option which is called as insert new equation. நாம என்னது ஈக்குவேஷன் டைப் பண்றது நாம எல்லாம் எப்படி டைப் பண்றது எனக்கு தெரியாது சோ सपोज எனக்கு வந்து இன்டகிரல் ஈக்குவேஷன் வேணும் ஆர் இந்த மாதிரி ஒரு ஈக்குவேஷன் வேணும் ஃபிராக்ஷன் ஈக்குவேஷன் வேணும்னா अगेन யூ கிளிக் ஹியர் देयर ஆர் சோ many ஆப்ஷன்ஸ் எனக்கு இப்படி வேணுமா ஃபிராக்ஷன் அல்லது இப்படி ஸ்லாண்டிங் இந்த மாதிரி வேணுமா ஆர் இந்த மாதிரி வேணுமா சோ யூ ஹேவ் डिफरेंट ஆப்ஷன்ஸ் ஹியர் காமன் ஃபிராக்ஷன் சோ காமன் ஃபிராக்ஷன் வேணும்னா நீங்க அப்படியே யூஸ் பண்ணிக்கலாம் सपोज இஃப் ஐ வாண்ட் வேற மாதிரி வேணும் அப்படின்னா ஐ கேன் கிரியேட் மைண்ட் ஸோ நான் அதை கிளிக் பண்ணுறேன் அப்போ ஒரு பாக்ஸ் வருது மேலே உள்ள பாக்ஸ் கீழே ஒரு பாக்ஸ் வருது ஸோ அந்த பாக்ஸுக்கு ஐ கேன் டைப் மை டெக்ஸ்ட் ஓகே ஆக்சுவலாக டபுள் கிளிக் பண்ணால் வரணும் எஸ் ஸோ அந்த பாக்ஸை டபுள் கிளிக் பண்ணிட்டீங்கன்னா யூ கெட் So I can just create a fraction like this. Okay. 
suppose I need a fraction like this. Now, click on the text type. Okay. Similarly, I have a lot of other options. Actually, initial I will work on the tough but still, practice on it, it's very easy. Okay. So, we will have the equation e power x. So, this is the common subscripts. Suppose in the Madri format, I can do it. Okay. Hmm. So whatever you want, you can do it. Okay. So in the format la namak veenu mo, so we can do it. The mind namak pani kumudiyu. Integral also I can do. Double integral, triple integral. Okay. So I can do it. So x two to four limit. I can perhaps type something here. Okay, 2x. So I can create my own equation like this. So the requirements ketamadi, the needs ketamadri, so we can create it. And uh, trigonometrical functions also we can create, and inverse functions also we can create. So sine inverse or sine type on no? sine inverse of so I can just uh, Two point three six. Okay, so I can create my equation like this. On limit also I can do it. Okay. So either not default default are So other than when you choose choose pani modify pani Okay, that you can do it. Then other operators are there. So equations na nariya panala actually. You can create any complicated equation using the option available here. So matrix also you can just uh, size of the matrix to one. So in the matrix you can create your matrices like this, right? So here you have a lot of operations which you can do it. Empty matrices, identity matrices, and matrices with brackets you can create. Sparse matrices, dots. So you can try and learn. If you have any options, you can try and learn. Functions, brackets. Okay, so you can uh, make use of this also. Then radicals also you can just make use of square root of something. Okay, so let me go back. Mm. So especially it's very much useful in a uh, normal uh, symbols and equations. When the symbols la namak devyana equations in our use panikamuriyo, and also the equations also we can create it using this MS word. Okay. So just to explore pani paringa. Just you create a document uh, using all these options, especially how to insert equations, how to work with symbols, how to insert symbols in a document. So that you can uh, uh, explore uh, when you are free, especially if you like to prepare a document. So you can do some trials. And as I have mentioned in the last uh, sessions, so in the insert option, there are so many features. So cover page, length, blank page, page break, then uh, tables insert, pictures insert. Smart arts also we can insert. So what is smart art? So this we have discussed in the last session itself. What is smart art? Smart art in the
What is smart art? My dad can respond to another alarm. Now, but may basically. Yeah, tell me what is smart art. Sessions kapro poi explore pani parking la word, Excel, PowerPoint, whatever you're learning or whatever you're listening through lectures. Are you practicing it at least for some time? Yes. Uh, Santosh Kumar, are you practicing after listening to the lectures? Yes, ma'am. I practice in one. Yes, yeah, tell me what is smart art? What is the use of smart art? Smart art use for them. Design for the same one, the photo seller set for the one. Design for the car. It is to improve your presentation. Okay, so normally to improve your presentation. So instead of uh, like simply uh, 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 dumping the text in a document, suppose if you want to explain something, any process. Or if you want to list out something, okay, in your process, so you can make use of a smart arts. Especially, it will improve your presentation and it will convey the information to the uh, the document readers in a more effective way. Okay, so for that reason only, we are going for the smart art, right? Smart art under the Naraya type circle. So suppose if you would like to list simply something, you can go for this list. Okay. Now let me uh, show you one uh, document, just a simple smart art use panada. Just I'll show you. So this is a simple smart art actually, very simple. So Munadi na apne vachne na just list matu panirne areas of research have been put. Just they have listed, but this is giving a more impressive way of presentation. The presentation the uh, mandi improve agude. So just they have taken a simple smart art. Just they have typed here research focus areas. Then I have listed what are the research focus areas which are uh, there. Okay, so this one is simple smart art. Now, so this is very simple smart art. So they have to create under this. So even now, PPT layer no create panala. Okay, so I'll just show you one thing. They will explain, but the same concept only. But I'll select under it. Inge bata or option iri kena kar already. There is an option convert to smart art graphic. Kabi no re option put. You now select panni. So I can just see different options are there, but you have to choose appropriate thing. So now list one to select one, right? So now either one I'll choose one now. So in the Madri, actually more appropriate and you choose one no. This is not the correct thing, in fact. So it's a simple thing. It's a simple thing. It was a simple smart art. So chumma list pandra ke badla na in the madri list pandla. 
suppose if it is a process abina i can go for process chart so adu na panna mudiyum just uh, back if it is a process i can go for some process the cycle edo onna na indha maadhiri select pandrena indha maadhiri direct ah panna mudiyum text vechu but it is not a process in the flow chart it correct ah varuma na ipo select panniruka flow chart it correct ah varuma whether i have chosen the correct flow chart here smart chart here can anyone tell me na correct ah choose pannirkena indha smart chart face or no ay ellar class la da irkinga indha smart chart correct ah na choose pannirukirathu ஒரேக்கிங் <laughs> <laughs> So just I have listed the major equipments available in the fluid mechanics and machinery lab. So that one then I listed that could come with over. But now choose for the flow chart. It is a flow chart actually. It's a cycle. Cycle line or what? What is a cycle? Cycle chart. I choose for one number. What is the difference? When the process is repeating again. Ah uh, yes. Process chart under there. process indrathu indha step ku appra indha step indha step ku appra indha step adha da process list indrathu just list or suppose in the library la enna enna books irukku adha list panirken naan department la enna enna labs irukku adha na list panirken so list ku vande there is a different type of smart art idhu vande cycle explain pandradhukku but na use panirken indha smart art use panna koodadhu irukku idhu neenga or cycle explain pandradha irundha na indha flow chart vande it will be more appealing ஓகே அழகா இருக்கும் பாக்குறதுக்கு சோ இது வந்து நான் பவர் பாயிண்ட்ல காமிச்சிருக்கேன் பவர் பாயிண்ட்லயும் ஆப்ஷன் இருக்கு டைரக்டா ஸ்மார்ட் ஆர்ட் போட்டு நீங்க டெக்ஸ்ட் டைப் பண்ணலாம் அல்லது டெக்ஸ்ட் सपोज இருந்துச்சு அப்படினா இப்ப எங்க ஆல்ரெடி டெக்ஸ்ட் இருக்கு एक्चुअली சோ இந்த டெக்ஸ்ட் தான் நான் என்ன பண்றேன் ஸ்மார்ட் ஆர்ட்ட கன்வெர்ட் பண்ண ட்ரை பண்றேன் இல்ல நான் புதுசா ஸ்மார்ட் ஆர்ட் கிரியேட் பண்ணனால நான் கிரியேட் பண்ணலாம் அதுக்கு இங்க பவர் பாயிண்ட்லயும் ஆப்ஷன் இருக்கு அதே மாதிரி தான் word layo we have an option smart arts so depending upon the process or depending upon the content you would like to convey suppose whether you want to present any list or whether you want to explain any process whether you want to explain any cycle or whether you want to uh, convey any hierarchy as i said one department in eduthona there is a hierarchy okay similarly one institution eduthona there is a hierarchy for example one company in eduthona there is a hierarchy director the kada ceo joint ceo adukapra managers dgm whoever so there is a hierarchy top la yaar adukapra yaar adukapra yaar so the hierarchy represent pananona there is a smart art okay so depending upon the purpose so you have to select the smart art so smart art use panninga na document will be in a more presentable way so adu neenga use pannala inga my chart to insert pannala screenshots also you can insert okay so whatever online videos also you can insert so there are so many options there are so many options available especially in ms uh, 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 software so where you can explore lot of options right so we can do magics with this uh, ms word or ms powerpoint whatever excel there are a lot of options adhe madri headers and footers um last time we discussed pannom so header abindrathu suppose if you want to uh, uh, include something permanently okay at the top of each and every page or at the bottom of each and every page you can include it especially the headers and footers vand uh, even textbooks illa uh, or conference proceedings indha maadhiri materials nam ready pannona we can include this header and footer option okay 
now uh, so idhula edhu doubts iruka adhe maari text box text box um insert pannalam idhu na already solirken so we can insert text simply cursor follow panni insert pannalam alladhu text box include panni pannalam solirken text box create panni pannalam text box ku lenum text add pannalam namma okay so that uh, we can do it so idhula edhu doubts iruka especially in the insert option So equations are not work pani paarenga appo dhaan ungalku actually ah konjam theriyum eppadi equations type pananum actually initial ah pandra po definitely there will be lot of struggles especially when you want to create equation uh, in a ms word so definitely you will face lot of struggles but once you practice so it will be easier for you to insert any type of equation in ms word okay and there are few other options like idhu me last time na solirken there is a draw option also so where you can draw your uh, uh, whatever you want okay you have the eraser and you have different types of pens so you can uh, just do it and uh, shapes nam paathutom last day so enna na shapes add panna mudiyum abindradhu paathutom right book mark link so inna kon advanced features irk in fact actually word la so that we'll see in the next sessions uh, almost na vandu ipo idu panirukiradhu ellame na cover pannite nu nenikiren but put envelopes mailings irukku review uh, one more option is there adhu na mudichirra actually uh, there is an option which is called as view so adhu mattum na ipo explain pannidren so there is a option which is called as view okay idhula vandu different types of uh, uh, document view options irukku one is the read mode una read mode choose panena indha maadhiri vandrum so you can read the document very easily like this uh cancel so idhile na change pannalam this is the read mode this is the print layout this is the web layout so idhu normal mode ku vandrum so inga bottom line paathina you have uh, three tabs so one is for the read mode another one is for the print layout another one is for the web layout so these are the different layouts normally which are available okay so just let me summarize it so in the view mode actually uh, it will allow you to uh, control the layout uh, tools like print layout outline web layout so nariya irukku actually header footer footnotes ellame so document view pathinga na idu da moonu type of view there is there one is the read mode another one is the print mode another one is the web mode okay so document view pandradhukku there are several options like this okay so we can select this particular tab in order to change to the appropriate mode suppose enak read mode venumna na indha tab choose pananum print mode venumna indha tab web mode venumna indha tab web mode enna endradhu web mode endradhu enna appadina or html page eppadi irukumo adhe maadhiri or document view pannamudiyum my print mode abindradhu printable format ku இருக்கிற இருக்கிற மாதிரி வியூ பண்ண முடியும் சோ பிரிண்ட் மோட்ல போட்டு பாத்தீங்கன்னா ஆட்டோமேட்டிக்கா தெரிஞ்சிடும் உங்க டாக்குமெண்ட் அலைன்மென்ட் எப்படி இருக்கு எனி ஃப்ளாஸ் இருக்கா அன்னெசரி என்டர்ஸ் கொடுத்துருக்கோமா டாக்குமெண்ட் வந்து ஒரே அலைன்மென்ட்ல இருக்கா அதாவது போத் லெஃப்ட் சைட் மார்ஜின் as well as right side margin இது எல்லாத்தையும் செக் பண்ண முடியும் எஸ்பெஷியலி when you go for this print mode ஓகே சோ ரீட் மோட் வந்து பாத்தீங்கன்னா ஆல் தி எடிட்டிங் டூல்ஸ் ஆர் ஹிடன் அண்ட் டாக்குமெண்ட் ஃபில்ஸ் தி screen and arrows appear on the left and right side of the screen to toggle through the pages of your document so you can move through your pages of the document because you will have some arrows on the left side and the right side okay so na read mode kaamikire ungalku let me go to the other document so i'll just go to the read mode so read mode ku pone na enoda document ipdi theriyudhu so you can see the arrow marks here left side and right side you can move through your document like this so this is called as read mode okay
so this is one type of mode so adut mode enna paathona there is another mode which is called as uh, print layout okay so this is the default view in fact from a normal view vandu ipdi da irukum so default view and page breaks irukum so document print aagrappa eppadi irukum abindradhu namak theriyum so just i'll just uh, go through the print so normal mode da idu so this is the print layout so you can see the page breaks here this is the page break so print panna eppadi irukum abindradhu namak theriyum ipo na file print potena so you can see the print preview view so ide view la da namak irukum actually print layout almost ipdi da theriyum so idhula nama enna kandupidikalam appadina documents la edhum flaws irukka nu kandupidikka mudiyum alignment illa correct ah irukka margins illa nama fix panna margins kuda irukka justified ah irukka text table central line da irukka so ellame we can easily find out in the print layout okay another uh, document view is web layout நான் சொன்ன மாதிரி வெப் பேஜ்ல எப்படி இருக்குமோ அதே மாதிரி டிஸ்பிளே ஆகும் இந்த வியூல எஸ்பெஷலி பாத்தீங்கன்னா இது இருக்காது சாரி பேஜ் பிரேக்ஸ் இருக்காது சோ திஸ் இஸ் தி வெப் லேアウト சோ நார்மலா நீங்க வெப்சைட்ல ஒரு டாக்குமெண்ட் வியூ பண்ணீங்கன்னா இப்படி தான் இருக்கும் சோ இதுல பாத்தீங்கன்னா தேர் ஆர் நோ பேஜ் பிரேக்ஸ் இன் बिटवीन தி பேजेस So page breaks ये दिल्ली तेरी हो रहा मगर इधर ले तेरी हो print layout ले तेरी हो so page breaks you'll see in the print layout so ये दिवान दे another type of this where you can move through the pages like this so this is called as reading uh, layout so this one is read mode this one is the print layout and this one is the web layout नमन normal default thing वंदे is called as print layout web layout la venum na indha maadhiri paathukalam neenga these are the different options you have in order to view the microsoft word document okay so that is available in the view option in addition to that there are some other options also especially in the view ruler but normally nama use pandrathu idha actually ma ruler neenga choose pannalena ruler indradhu idha the ruler can i when and i can just remove this option okay ye pathinga rendu ruler me poirom horizontal ruler as well as vertical ruler right so uh, you have especially in the moon options namak therinjirukano layouts porta varaikum there are some other options also okay and uh, before closing the session so i'd like to just uh, I give you some of the shortcut keys adu me na actually vechirken so that also you can make a note of it because that will be useful for you especially when you want to navigate through the document navigate na when you want to move through the document so there are so many options which you have so adu me na vandu just solli re in the in the session la yes and shortcut keys also Okay, so these are some of the shortcut keys for MS Word. Control ये ये देखिए उस पर वो. Control ये. What for this control ये option is used? To select all the controls yeah, in the. Yeah, थोड़ा वाली की देने के. See, already I'm sick. सरिया. So, in spite of that, I am taking this. So, please cooperate. Please respond at least a little bit. So, Control A is to select all the document, right? And Control B is bold. Control C is copy. Control X is cut. Cut the selected text. And Control N. So, इधर लाना हम use पढ़ते तो बहुत rare actually, but इधर लाना हम करने चला. Control N is for open new or blank document. Okay. Then Control P. Simply to print the document. Then Control I, when the italics select, put it. Text select, put it. Control I, put it. Na italics are wrong. Then Control U is for underlining the text. Control V is for paste. Control Y, when the read. 
ஓகே ரீடோ நான் லாஸ்ட் டைமே இதை நான் யூஸ் பண்ணி காமிச்சிருக்கேன் உங்களுக்கு ஸோ ஒரு ஆப்ஷன் பண்ணுறீங்கன்னா அதை ரிப்பீட் பண்ணணும் அப்படின்னா இட் கேன் யூஸ் கண்ட்ரோல் ஒய் ஆப்ஷன் சப்போஸ் நான் இந்த டெக்ஸ்ட் செலக்ட் பண்ணுறேன் ஹைலைட் பண்ணியிருக்கேன் அப்படின்னா அகெயின் ஐ கேன் செலக்ட் திஸ் டெக்ஸ்ட் கண்ட்ரோல் ஒய் போட்டேன்னா சாரி go for another thing line spacing increase panirken again other paragraph ku na adey panano na i can go for control y so if i want to redo the same option okay i can use control y undo panano abina i can use control z control z putting na undo airo so in the shortcut keys konjam therinj vechukonga use pandrappo ungalku easy a irukum actually டைம் சேவ் பண்ணலாம் ஓகே ஸோ கண்ட்ரோல் ஏ அகெயின் செலக்ட் ஆல் கண்ட்ரோல் பி இஸ் ஃபார் போல்ட் கண்ட்ரோல் சி இஸ் ஃபார் காப்பி கண்ட்ரோல் எக்ஸ் இஸ் ஃபார் கட் கண்ட்ரோல் என் இஸ் ஃபார் ஓப்பன் எ நியூ டாக்குமெண்ட் ஆர் அ பிளாக் டாக்குமெண்ட் கண்ட்ரோல் பி இஸ் ஃபார் பிரிண்ட் கண்ட்ரோல் லைஃப் இஸ் ஃபார் இட்டாலிசைஸ் தி செக்ஷன் ஆர் செலக்டட் டெக்ஸ்ட் கண்ட்ரோல் யூ இஸ் ஃபார் அண்டர்லைனிங் தி செலக்டட் டெக்ஸ்ட் கண்ட்ரோல் பி இஸ் ஃபார் பேஸ்ட் then control is that vandu undo control y vandu redo redo the last action that is performed there are some more keys okay so control plus g find and replace option okay then f1 is for open help f7 is for spell checking okay in the option o irukku there is an option for uh, spell check in the ms word so you can do the spell check of the selected text using this f7 option okay and f12 is for save us then save பண்றதுக்கு control plus f control plus w ன்றது document to close பண்றதுக்கு then you have another option for uh, inserting the current date and time in the document so alt plus shift plus d okay then alt plus shift plus t time include பண்றதுக்கு then control plus backspace so you have if you want to delete some words to the left of the cursor so you can use this option control plus backspace okay so these are different shortcut keys so i'll just share this ppt also okay so you can just go through it and you can make use of the shortcut keys whenever you practice it using a, a ms word and if you want to move through the document okay navigation of the document ஓகே ஸோ ஒரு டாக்குமெண்ட்ல நான் மேல மூவ் பண்ணணும் கர்சர் அப்படின்னா மேலே லெஃப்ட்ல மூவ் பண்ணணும் ரைட்ல மூவ் பண்ணணும்னா ஸோ யூ கேன் ஜஸ்ட் ப்ரெஸ் தி ஆரோஸ் விச் ஆர் அவைலபிள் இன் தி லேப்டாப் ஆர் சிஸ்டம் ஓட் அவர் ஓகே ஸோ அது நமக்கு தெரியும்னு நினைக்கிறேன் சப்போஸ் எண்ட் ஆஃப் த டாக்குமெண்ட்டுக்கு போகணும்னா எண்ட் ஆஃப் த லைனுக்கு போகணும்னா எண்ட்ன்ற ஆப்ஷன் பிக் பண்ணணும் தென் ஹோம்ன்ற ஆப்ஷன் போகணும் தென் பேஜ் பேஜ் டவுன் தென் டாக்குமெண்ட்டோட ஸ்டார்டிங் போகணும்னா கண்ட்ரோல் ப்ளஸ் ஹோம் control plus end in the mari options ella irukku okay so neenga the experience panna da theriyum ungala system la when you have a word document so in the arrows alla in the buttons alla press panni paathu you can check it okay so ungala laptop la un system la irukku arrow mark irukku left arrow irukku right arrow irukku up arrow irukku down arrow irukku so idella neenga choose panni paathu neenga experience pannikalam okay so adhe mari end indra or button irukku home indra or button irukku okay மகுசெக்ட் <laughs> using the buttons also which are available in the laptop or system so one character select panradhukku shift plus right arrow pananu one character to the left select panradhukku shift plus left arrow similarly to select to the beginning of a word control plus shift plus left arrow so idellame vand through practice tha varum edutha odana namakku varadhu okay so oru dinam nama senju paathutona then this for the second time automatically namude kai appadi poirum okay work panradhukku ama to select to the end of the line shift plus n shift plus home to select the entire document control plus a so these are some of the uh, keys which we can use in the computers or the laptops in order to navigate through the document or in order to select the text in a particular document okay 
I'll share this PPT whether you have any classroom for this Google classroom for this certificate course. No, ma'am. Okay. So let me ask. I think share pani nangalala, madam. Drive la share pani nangalala. So the documents nangalala. Ko. A parting la. Itna pe parting hai, madam. Edo uh, MS office blend la. Edo the support. Ah, uh, blend edo the portal nangalala. Some materials. Have you go? Have you gone through that? Edo madam portal nangalala. But anyway, so I'll just uh, um, ask her to create a Google Classroom. So we'll just post the materials, okay? Whatever PPTs we have. So we'll just uh, post the materials. Please go through the materials during your free time and pla start practicing it, okay? So definitely you'll have an assessment at the end of the certificate course, right? So definitely you'll have some hands-on uh, assessment sessions. So MS Word, uh, Office, uh, like uh, PowerPoint and as well as Excel. And uh, you have to work it. Okay, work panala mudio. And nipa assessment. Anala work panni practice pani konga. And we'll share the materials also. Just remind Ruby madam to create a Google classroom to share the materials. Okay. So we will share it. Please go through it, practice it, and take the assessment test very confidently. Okay. So Kandipa assessment is there. Okay. So any doubts you have? So shall we close the session for today? Any doubts? See, especially no, when we conduct some certificate course like this. So physical conduct, there are a lot of advantages because there are uh, there are options of giving you some hands-on experience in the lab. Okay, so you can practice how to create a document, how to create a table, how to align it, how to create bullets, how to use smart arts. So, if you have a hands-on experience, it will be effective. But simply listening to the lectures delivered by the resource persons won't help. Okay, so unless you have some practice. So, please try to have some practice. Okay, so we'll meet, uh, I think next Saturday, all the Saturdays we have, right? So we'll meet during the next session. If you have any queries, you can just ask me. Otherwise, we can just close. Shall we close? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Thank you all. Thank you.